remember back in June when Taylor wrote that open letter to Apple saying she would keep her songs off of Apple Music and then demanded that they change the terms of their three month trial and that artists should be getting paid for it? Well, Apple agreed and Swift was streaming. So moving forward, Taylor Swift has just wrapped up her huge 1989 World Tour concert where she performed at the ANZ Stadium in Sydney, Australia with possibly the biggest birthday bash to go down in history. This past Sunday, the 26 year old announced via Twitter that Apple Music will exclusively debut her 1989 world tour where she performed for 76,000 of her fans, which is to air December 20th, just in time for Christmas. Now, according to New York Times, it's reported that the concert raked in over $240 million in ticket sales. Access to the concert film will be limited to all Apple Music subscribers only, all 6.5 million of them to be exact. But you know what you don't have to pay for after three months? I got the Juice TV. That's right. Make sure you subscribe for more videos, more updates, and more segments. This is your girl, Chantel G. Who got the juice? Who got the juice?